Last thing we've got going on is uh, Arathus, and wanted to share that with you. So the, the struggle that I've been working on is these funky dive planes, we'll show you in a minute. But what Jason worked on while I was away was cleaning up these, uh, these seams. And uh, now if you take a look at them on this side, there is like a razor blade. You can't even see them. I can barely feel them with my finger. So this is now perfectly smooth absolutely beautiful this is a 3d resin printed hull that's like four and a half feet long um, but what I've been working on for the last couple of days was doing the final engineering and implementation for the funky bow planes and now I want to show you how those work so I've got these just rigged up to a servo tester here right now so unlike most conventional boats that have dive planes that stick out and they both work together. Arathus, as well as like the German 209 and a few others, used a pretty unique system of dive planes. So this one pushes one dive plane out to surface and another one out to submerge. So the idea behind this is that when they're both pulled in, you get to go really fast because there's less drag. All that said, it's a, a nightmare of linkages and such to get this all working. I have to think the full-size boat was the same way. But at any rate, I want to show you how this all works. So uh, if I twist the servo in one direction, we can surface. So just one plane came out. All right, back to neutral. And if I go the other way, the other dive plane comes out. So surface, submerge. Uh, it's pretty cool and I can, I can show you what that looks like here. I'm gonna pop this off if I can get this, there we go. So here's the, the linkage for the, the top one. So basically there is a, a high strength elastic cable that provides tension to keep it pulled in. And then this servo arm pushes it out. Um, and when it hits that central hub, that's what uh, provides the torsion on the bar. And if it goes in the other way, it just free spins. It just moves freely. So um, a simple system. There's lots of ideas that I had with like pulleys and all sorts of different things. This was really challenging to rig up because the only real estate I had to play with was about maybe 3 16 of an inch from the edge of the dive plane. So I think this works really well. I'm excited uh, now that we can start moving on to other aspects of the boat. All the rear linkages are done. The drive shaft is done. Cylinder is getting done. So we're almost ready to move on to the next step.